Hey dude Look, it's the dude that's been joining my Discord server Hey guys, it's commentary time, sit back, relax and enjoy a chat shouting at his phone about the commentary community. I have always liked making commentary videos, it's something about them that is entertaining and cool, like me talking over a blurry gameplay. The most friendly social media platform There's a lot of YouTubers that inspired me to create commentary videos, and the majority of it being cynical. It's basically like my inspiration of this whole channel which is kinda obvious, and I think I used one of his jokes on a video something about a lesbian. On my video why I haven't talked for months, some of the elements and editing are inspired by Roblox commentary youtubers such as Koneko Kitten and Chloe Games. I used to watch them a lot and I grew bored of it. They really just complain about little things that I don't really care about such as green lego cats and it's what I'm about to do later on in the video. I still respect their content nonetheless. There are hypocrites and complete degenerates in the community. One of them obviously being Kimstar but I don't know if he's even categorized as community. It's drama channel 143 and I don't even have to explain even further about who Kimstar Star is because at this point everyone already knows his history and all that. Fucking righteous fucking a lot of the commentary YouTubers are quite repetitive, talking about nothing but. The enemy is bad. Like we haven't seen the 100 video about it. Like I get it, dream is bad. But making a video without any structure and got awful criticism such as I don't like dream because it's bad. Then again, it's commentary, so it's pretty much expected. Some of them in the community had complained about topic commentary channels despite it being the point of commentary like you know commentating about a topic commentary i don't know where the term topic commentary came from because it is literally what commentary is obviously no hate to people that made these videos and i get what they're saying i agree with channels that are making tommy in it and oh wait While the term Tommy commentary doesn't make sense, there is a channel I used to watch but I quit it because of him talking so loud like the children in my basement. Doing it as much but today I saw something go on Twitter There's an issue with most commentary creators trying too hard to be edgy by using funny dark humor from 2016. JFK's mind blowing, open minded, get it guys because he got assassinated. And a piece of his head fell. I used to be one of them by making the same 9 11 and JFK jokes over and over again, and I would call it dark humor. While well, I still enjoy some of the dark humor nowadays, some of them are just tasteless, to be honest. Being racist or homophobic or any punchline isn't very really dark humor, this is called being a dick. Don't call me a snowflake because I'm not a Twitter cunt. I'd complain over JS like making a joke. An obvious joke, but just saying gamer words without any punchline isn't really dark humor. Edgy humor is funny if it's done right. We all know that the commentary community got a bit of a bad reputation after the pyrocynical situation. Seeing these channels jumping straight to conclusion is just depressing. It reminds me of that time where I thought uploading 1 minute videos daily is good. The era where not uploading a mediocre video for 4 days is considered a dead channel. This is mainly the reason why I basically stopped uploading daily and started to do weekly. Not not really weekly as the description of fractional voice channel says. God fucking damn it, I need to change that. Getting a bit off topic here but you're watching fractional void. The guy who talk about serious shit with a happy song playing in the background. You'll see pedophiles and zoophiles more often than usual. Commentary channel nowadays has gotten a bit stale with videos saying Oh my god, Carl Johnson from the 3 SMP said Slurs and murdered my whole family. Or the same video about Tommy in it for the 100th time. Here we have Toxic Distress, a dude that lives up to his name, making the same video about a certain content creator over and over again. Another drama channel that you can't really trust when they made a video about Screamzox being a sensitive channel. Like, like, have you watched their content? They're far from being sensitive. All they were doing was defending their fans because she was discriminated. I don't really like Jaden's content, it can be a bit dull sometimes. But I don't think calling out Dr. Cringe for discrimination means you're being sensitive. While I don't like toxic distress, the background music slaps though. Max BT Show is a YouTuber that uses glitch effects in his video every fucking time. 
Man, I'm trying to watch your video, not trying to have a season. But like, I use glitch effects too, but I, but I don't put it every time because I'm trying to make a video, not season simulated 2021. He has the attitude of a high school bully in a movie with a bad acting. Okay, bro, you need to chill out. I mean, how can you get annoyed by a video I made on Scrimzox? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, listen, I, I get it, you know. I, I talked a ton of shit about your boyfriend, Scrimzox. You know, I get it, but come on, man. Why is his arm so big? Like, his character just looks weird. Like, this is so cringe bro like bro bro this isn't a high school movie what the f it's like i'm watching a high school movie parody and i can't and, and i can't even stop saying high school bully because that's literally how it acts like and he is also quite childish i mean like is basically 70 percent of the commentary community so i can't really blame him i can also be childish at times and so is everybody he also swears every five seconds of like a child finding out about swear words for the first time oh uh, fuck man did you fucking know about this fucking individual that i'm talking about Fucking hell, my fuck. His thumbnails, while not being terrible, it's mediocre. It's mediocre. I can't really say that because my thumbnails aren't that great either. But there will be like the argument. If you think this, is this thing is bad? Why didn't you make it that? <sighs> and of course, being a commentary channel, you will milk one YouTuber for ten videos similar to toxic distress. I actually, scratch that. Similar to every commentary channel in existence. Hopefully I wouldn't go down that dark path. In this video, Screamzox fans are mad at me. The person he's talking were a bit odd and I think both, both are odd to be honest. Hi guys, welcome to my second official video. Yeah. It's just kinda cringe. You got called cringe from a 14 year old. Therefore your career is over instantly. And now that's all for this week. I'm going to go back to my cave. Stay safe, drink water, wash your hands. Don't be a dumbass.